So recently there's been a lot of hype and interest in using Stream Decks with Mosaic software. So I thought I'd make a quick demo video showing how I use mine. But honestly, I'm not really completely sold on it. And some days I like it. Others, I don't really know if it's worth it. But either way, you can decide for yourself. I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough on how I use it. So I have my Mosaic profile up on the screen here. Okay, so most of you familiar with Mosaic software will know what most of these icons mean and what is likely to happen if you press the button. If not, no worries. Follow along and I'll try to think of a scenario where I might use each of these to show an example. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll answer it as soon as possible. Okay, let's minimize this out. We're in the products tab here. I'm gonna select cabinet number one here. Now, if I wanted to go around the room and check some other cabinets real quick, I can press this next cabinet button and sort of skip through. So you can see how that might be helpful. And let's come back to number four here and I wanna make a closed toe there on that end. So I'm gonna click the edit tab and in the edit tab here, I'm going to go ahead and hit the end and on left end, uncheck not front toe and two floor. And you can see it close that up. Next, let's select cabinet number four, press the height tab and change it to 60. Another thing we might do is this fridge cabinet. Let's make that a little deeper. So it's nice that you can click on there, press the button, move on. Now let's view a cabinet in 3D. And let's go ahead and take the door off. Switch to high detail. And if I want to put that back on. Now let's check out the room 3D. Let's check out the layers tab and remove the doors. And we'll click them back on. Okay, let's try the pan and orbit tool. So hit the pan button and slide it around sideways. Switch back to orbit and spin it. Now let's remove the inserts here and check the measurements for the operations using the quick measure tool. So switch this to wire view on the top, zoom in, and we can hit the quick measure tool, check that measurement to the side. Now let's check the elevation, and we can switch back to plan view then with the same button. It changes each time you press the button. Back to plan. And we'll go back to elevation and then we can use these uh, wall arrows, next wall, previous wall, to go back and forth. It's real handy if you have like an L-shaped kitchen, you can navigate through the walls quick. Now let's put a note at the end of this cabinet. I'll press the note button once and click. And I'll do e. Okay, so that's about it for all the shortcuts. Let's take a look at the parameters here. I'm in my mosaic profile, I'll go to page two here, and the, some of the common parameters are laid out here. So if you press this button, it will type part L just the way that it shows here. Same with that, that. And then inside these folders here, in this reserved parameters, these are pretty commonly used all in there. These are separated out in folders the way they are in mosaic so like toe parameters are in this toe folder so it does make it nice to be able to come through here and just press a button have it type the parameter out okay so let's write a quick formula to demonstrate how that works I want to add these little rails to my right unfinished base in panel 
So I'm gonna go to that. And yes, I'm aware I did not use the stream deck for that. So this part is sped up a little bit, but it still gives you a general idea of how it works. I just didn't want to drag the video out too long. But honestly, the main thing that I use the stream deck for and where I feel I get the most benefit is saving shortcuts to websites like Revashelf, Bloom, Mosaic, whatever. Everybody has a bunch of different sites they have to go to for suppliers, all that good stuff. And it can get tough to keep track of all of them. It is nice to make a little folder in here and save all the websites that you regularly visit all in one place. You can just press a button and go. Okay, so for the last thing, I want to just do a quick overview of how to save websites here. So right now I have opened a few work links. So there's a... Uh, if I need to go to Revishelf real quick, I can press that. Go to Bloom. And if I want to make a new one, I can do that as well. So, so let's say I wanted to save this one. I can literally just click up there. Copy the link, open my stream deck, this on there, drag the website in, the URL, and paste it in. And it will usually, if it's a well known site, will go ahead and add the logo on there for you ready. So it's pretty handy. All right, so that's it. Hopefully, this was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I will answer as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.